today i'm happy to tell you guys that the rpcss3 android alpha build is finally here so in today's video i will explain what this means for the ps3 emulations on android walk you through the installation process and also share a quick demo of its current state meaning after today's video you should be able to install the rpcss3 android emulator and play your favorite ps3 games on your android device so without much ado let's get started For those who aren't familiar, the RPCSS3 is one of the most popular PlayStation 3 emulators available. Originally developed for PC, it's known for running a huge library of PS3 games. Now, one of its original founders has introduced an alpha build for Android, a significant step forward bringing PS3 gaming to mobile devices. Please keep in mind that this is an early alpha, so it's not fully polished. Yet. So in this version, the interface is extremely minimalistic. You will see just two main buttons, one for installing the PS3 firmware and one for adding a game. There aren't any advanced settings like resolution, control mapping or performance tweaks yet. So this build is more about proving that PS3 emulations on Android is possible rather than offering a complete gaming experience. Now let's go and download the emulator and set it up on our Android device. Let's go. Now this is the RPCSS3 emulator which just got back to the Android. So um, for the installation process, you will need the emulator itself and also you will need the PS3 firmware, which is this one. So I will guide you through the installation process, I mean how to get the emulator and also how to get the PS3 firmware. So um, I recommend you guys to watch full video, don't skip any part of this video so let's go on now when you look here i have the apk which is the latest version this is the apk it is in the alpha state so you don't have to expect much so um to download the apk there is going to be a link under this video description for the apk so copy the link and then open your browser paste in the link now after pasting the link it should take you to this session which says alpha test build so um, this is the emulator at the moment it's only available on the android devices so um this is the emulator go ahead and download the emulator i've already downloaded the emulator which is this one so i'll go ahead and install it Okay, so after the installation, just open it and then it says allow RPCSS3 to send you notification. Just press allow. Here you should see something like this, which is um, a blank page like this. So what you have to do first is press here and then you should see something like firmware now. Just press on the firmware. Now, now pressing on the firmware means we are going to install the firmware and i already have the firmware file here so um to get the firmware open your browser and then type in r type in ps3 ps3 firmware it should take you to um it should give you a list so choose just choose this one so um go with this one visit the official page of the ps3 i mean the playstation website here make sure it is on desktop sites so you have to you know set it to desktop site now here scroll down like this until you see how to update ps3 system software now just press this one the second one which is update using a computer just press the second one 
and then here you should see something like download ps3 updates this one so this is the firmware this is the firmware so go ahead and press on it to download the firmware better still you can just press and hold and then after seeing this page just press on download link just press this one who says download link and then you should see this part which says do you want to download just press on download i've already downloaded the app so there is no need for me to you know and download it again so after downloading it you should see something like ps3 updates dot pup so this is the firmware now head back to the emulator which is this one and then this time around press here and then press on select firmware press this one now head to your locate the folder that contains the downloaded ps3 firmware so in this manner it is located inside the ps3 folder and then you should see your firmware so this is the firmware just press on it and then you should start installing okay so after the installation of the firmware you should see something like 4.91 i think this is the version of the firmware now to add our games just press on this thing over here this plus this plus icon sign over here and then locate the folder that contains your ps3 games file listen locate the folder that contains your ps3 games file or locate your ps3 games file so at this moment i don't have any ps3 game so if you have then you locate the game and then you press on it so to so my final thoughts on this is that the rpcss3 android alpha build is an exciting glimpse into the future of ps3 emulation on mobile devices even though it's very basic right now it's a huge milestone coming from one of the original developers so i would love to hear your thoughts if you try it out drop a comment below with your experience or question if you enjoyed this video please like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on emulation and tech breakthrough i will leave a link in the description for future details and community forums where you can follow the project's progress see you next time